Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again with a box, a little mystery box, courtesy of Olight. They just keep sending things my way. We, I feel like it was just yesterday we were unboxing the O-Knife and some other things, and they, they've been great. They've been great to the channel, and they just keep sending stuff along. It is the holiday season, they do have a lot of new releases coming, and I think there's some things in here that I'm technically not allowed to show you. So, uh, I'm gonna show them to you. Sorry? That's right. Olight at it again with their uh, tomfoolery. They did give us a, a nice little pull tab, but this is a knife channel, so we'll use the O Knife uh, Roboto 2. Ooh, that was very squeaky, very squeaky, squawky sound. Am I still gonna have to use the pull tab? <laughs> I think I am. Oh well, I tried. It's satisfying and all, but you know, this is a knife channel. We like to cut our things open around here. Bust this thing open. By the way, excellent budget knife. Like, really impressed by this thing. Genuinely. Even if I would gladly buy another one with my own money. A few family members are getting one of these for Christmas. They just don't know it yet. Oh. oh. Okay. All right. So we got a flashlight. We got a knife. Let's zoom in. See the goods. We got another flashlight. And we've got another flashlight. Nothing left in the box. Goodbye. Sorry. Uh, let's start with the knife. This is a knife channel. We'll start with the knife and then work our way into the other stuff here. Um, this is, says, what does this says? What does this says? Folding pocket knife, the metal, 154CM, G10 handles. Uh, I like their packaging. I do. I do. I think it was Neves Knives. Uh, Jared was like, I can't stand their logo. It looks like the Matchbox logo. I don't know you be the judge you let me know in the comments if you think it looks like the matchbox car logo i don't see it you know kind of i don't know what it looks like it kind of does it is like a wheel or a ring i get it i get it whatever uh really nice packaging oh my god is this a button lock no <gasps> i just noticed it <laughs> i just noticed that it's a button lock really nice packaging embossed o knife logo there very nice nice little velcro pouch some paperwork in there Let's see here. Let's take a look. See here. Ooh. Unvelcro it. And we have the metal. The metal. Like you meddling kids. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Look at this. This is interesting. The handle design is interesting to say the least. So we have this orange G10 over top of blue G10. Uh, stainless steel liners exposed. Uh, they sit flush with the scales. We got a nice lanyard hole, minimal hardware, one, two body screws, and a pivot screw. Nice stamped deep carry clip. No complaints there. Real nice jimping ear on the blade spine. Very nice. But look at this. Talk about, I just made the Matchbox or Hot Wheels reference. I, you know, kind of looks like a Nerf toy, if I'm being honest. The orange, and then they have the, the laser engraved or machined areas down into the blue G10. So you get this wild two-tone effect. Really nice texturing on that G10, though. No complaints there. Feels nice. Weighty. Feels substantial in the hand. Looks like a flipper and a flipper only, so we'll see about that. But it is a button lock. That's uh, decent. Solid, honestly. Got the giant O-Knife logo. Could do with a smaller logo there. And then the name of the knife, Metal, here on the clip side. Very nice. Very nice. I've been really impressed. The, uh... The Roboto 2 was the first one I've seen or handled in person, and I, I've been impressed. So in hand, ergos, that feels nice. Choke back, no hot spots, no pinch points, thumb lands on the jimping, really locked in. No real finger choil to speak of, but you can get right here, trigger pull it if you want. Pinch grip, sure. All day, baby. All day, real nice, super tall flat grind, belt satin finish, 154cm uh, on the blade steel. One of my favorites. Just a great all-rounder. Nice decorative swedge here at the top. Little, little drop point. Little classic old-school drop point, baby. A, a subtle recurve, I think. Other, or I'm going blind. But uh, very nice. Feels good in the hand. Action. Running on a set. Looks like ceramic bearings again. Whoop. Nice, uh... Texturing jimping here on the jimp on the uh, the jimper tab. Yeah, the jimper tab. The flipper tab, so that feels good. Really nice. Really easy to light switch that. No problems. No button stick at all. 
Press the button and she closes, man. No gripes. No gripes at all. Very nice. And there's room if you want to mod it. There's room for thumb studs in there. I bet you'd be nice with, with studs on it. That one's on me. You can have that design choice option uh, on me. For free, oh, oh light, oh knife. So, uh, acoustics. Very nice. Very nice. But we ought to cut something with it, so let me get some foam book paper out. Right quick. Uh-oh. That was, that was on me. Oh, yeah. She'll cut. Nice and thin behind the edge. Almost a full flat grind. Like, just a hair away. They might as well have just done a full flat grind, honestly. But very nice. Relatively thin blade stock to start with. I keep screwing up my angle. I got the uh, heater running, so I'm getting a nice cross breeze in here. But very nice factory edge. Very, very good. And, uh, you know, it's been almost a month since I've unboxed this, and I have not had to touch this edge. The, the factory edge on this has held up really well, and this has kind of been my go-to budget beater. So I have very... Uh, the, the 154CM's done really well, based on my month so far with the, uh, with the Robato. So there you go, the metal links for all this in the description. They've hit me up with some discount codes as well, so keep an eye out for that stuff down there. But the, uh, the O-Knife metal... A button lock, flipper, and I'm assuming under 100 bucks, which, you know, this ended up being like 75, so maybe 80, 85 for this. Uh, anyway, links in the description. I love a good button lock. I'm impressed. Moving on. By the way, size comparison, right in that three inch blade. Here's the rock wall. About that size. It's about rock wall pair of three size as far as length goes. So a, just a great EDC size. So there is that. Let me move. Let me make room. Make room. The metal. Gotta love it. And we have... What do we have? Uh, the... Okay. This is the... Let's go to this one. This. This is the i3e EOS. Uh, a little, little Christmas style. Look, it's got a little... In green, of course, because they know me so well. It's got little snowflakes on it. A great little stocking stuffer for uh, the man, woman, or child in your life. Everybody needs a good flashlight. I, I I just, you know, I stand by that statement. Something I didn't realize until much later in my life as an adult. Very nice. So this is like a, a big, pimped out, uh, just a slightly oversized version of their um, i1R2 Pro or their iThanks, the ITHX, which I unboxed with the um, Rabatto. Uh, runs on a single AAA, so non-rechargeable. But just a nice little keychain light. Right? It's literally the size of a AAA battery. Do I have a AAA laying around? I have some double A's. So here's the, here's the size comparison for you. Here's a set of double A's. Uh, yeah, it's just a hair longer than a double A AA or a AAA. And thinner than a double A. So a great, great size. Let's open this up. Nice little O-ring in there for waterproofing. Pull the little thing off. Okay. Comes with the battery pre-installed. Love that from the factory. Boom! Boom! Their little lights blow my mind. Absolutely. Jesus is not here today, but they blow my mind. How great these things, how much light these little tiny, God, they, ow! They put off so much light and it has two modes, or is it just one mode on this? Okay, so this one only has one mode, ultra bright or off. Nothing, uh-oh, did I break the autofocus? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. It'll light you up. It'll light you up real good. The Olight i3e EOS. Excellent. Great little keychain knife. Great little stocking stuffer. No issues with that at all. Love a little light. You gots to. My i1 R2 Pro never leaves my keychains. My wife uses, uh, has one of the i thinks is, is on her chain. Her On her chain, you know what I mean? So, we love the little guys. Moving on. Great little, great little light and adorable in green with the with the snowflakes. The Olight Perrin 2 Mini. The two? Well, I've never handled the one. So let's open this guy up right quick. Mom? Maybe? Oh. Their packaging? Very nice. Very Apple-esque. You know what I mean? They really go the extra mile with their packaging. Pop this. Oh, that's the kind of little. I didn't know it was so small. What is all this? Oh, wow! We got a whole accessory kit in here, bro. We got a headband. 
and a little uh, headband mount mounteruni the bob there. We got the magnetic charger, which I had my my worries about when I unboxed the the one with the laser pointer. Help, future me. What was that called? I don't have it on me. I don't remember. But I, I had my doubts. These little guys work great. These little magnet magnetic chargers, super fast charging. They clip on real well. You only need one or two. I think they make little like multi charger like little magnetic things that are very cool. Uh, here we have the light. Let's put all this aside. I'll probably need the user manual, but we'll get to that. Uh, orange, nice little pocket clip on it. A good size too. Oh my, oh my God. Let's get this thing out of here. And it has that little S shaped clip that I love. So you can clip it on your hat bill. Nice texturing, machined aluminum, anodized, bright, vibrant orange. So you're not going to lose this thing. The Perrin 2 Mini. It's adorable. It's so cute. Love the clip. Love the two-way clip. Big fan. Big, giant power button here on the butt end. And it's uh, it's like one of the old school, like World War II. You know what I mean? Like what the army carried, the little uh, flashlights they had. Very nice. Very nice machine work. Very clean all around. Chart recharging, super easy. Just clips right on there. Plug that thing into a regular old... Wall socket, and you're good to go, baby. So let's turn this thing on, maybe. Oh, no. Is there something I have to do? Is it dead? Oh, light, is it dead? I think it's dead. My heart. I'm in shambles. Well, shit. Okay. Uh, well, we'll recharge this, and we'll come back uh, in a few hours. So I'll see you then. Three hours later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, it's official. I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm back. Hi. Uh, it, it's been several hours. I charged it all the way up. Uh, <laughs> there is a thing. There was a thing. I, I uh, There was a little protective plastic thing. It was fully charged already. I'm just dumb, even though it's been several hours now. Uh, so now we can turn it on. It was always able to turn on. I'm just dumb. Okay. So uh, let's give her a click. Uh, we got very, very dim. Still kind of bright. Very dim. Uh, I forget how their shit works. There you go. Step up. Pretty nice. Pretty gnarly. Step up. Brutal. Getting getting painful now. Getting to a point where it's it hurts me. It hurts me. And that's it. Okay. So one, two, three on the normal mode. We got Jesus. I brought Jesus back. Uh, light him right up. You know what I mean? Just light him right up. It's amazing to me, these tiny little lights. They put out in such an insane amount of light. Look, you look. Sorry, Jesus. You're looking good, though, pal. You feeling good? Intense. Nonsense. Out of something this small. Like, look. It's ridiculous. So, I was farting around with it a second ago. I need the instruction manual. Thank God. For this. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? I need, I need help. There's different colors, dude. I was... Fucking around with it and it turned red on me. So uh, let's see here. Um, hold on one second. Let me get my let me get my readers out because I'm an old man. Double press turbo. Okay, double press. It's red. <laughs> it's. Red. What if I told you? I told you not to come here anymore. I told you not to talk to me. Not to bother myself or my family. Don't speak to me or my children ever again. If I catch you outside of my home once, once, twice, it's over for you. Do you understand? It's brutal, man. Look, you got some friggin' the, the, the fires of hell glow bright on the face of Jesus. You know what I mean? So there's that. But So that's turbo? Press and hold? Oh my god. Okay, so we got SOS going. SOS. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. It's just between blinking and that. How do I... Double press. So figure six says on while on. Oh my god. There's turbo. Holy fuck. I, ne <laughs> I never get used to how brutal that is. Good Jesus. Jesus? Oh my god, man. That is just obscene. It is getting warm. It's already getting very warm. Uh, that will light you up, dude. That will light... <laughs> that will ruin somebody's day if you blast this turbo mode in somebody's eyeballs. It's game over, dude. That is obscene. Okay, turn that off. Okay. Unreal. The amount of power 
in such a tiny little thing. So I, I came with this thing, um, and I don't know. Oh, oh, uh huh. Okay, dude, I'm blind right now. Holy crap! And I got a headband. I'll never say no to a good headband. I don't know how this works. Do I just? Oh, I just kind of thread it in. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, alright, okay. Am I putting this on the right way? I swear to God, I swear to Christ. Okay, alright, okay. And then what? And then I just slap this on? Ow, ow, ow. Boom, baby, I'm in there. Don't even talk to me, bro. I'm too, my hair's all fuckered up. Do I look cool? Oh, the glasses are not, are not. Oh, no, oh, boy. Uh, I'm trying to get them in. There we go. We gotta get the glasses inside the bands here, but I can't. Ah, whatever, dude. If I look like, do I look cool? So then I can, there you go. You know what I mean? I can just, I can just do, do my thing, right? Do my thing. Re read my stuff. I can tilt this down. Read my stuff here. It's great. It's, it's excellent. So there you go. The Perun 2 Mini. Big fan, man. They just, they throw a lot of extra goodies in the box, and I appreciate that. Finally, last but not least, I'm leaving this on. If you, why would I, why would I ever take it off again? I'm going to work like this, baby. I'm showing up to the office like this. Oh, you need a flashlight? Don't worry about it. I got you, baby. I got you. Nine times out of ten, I got you. So there you go. Very secure, by the way. It's not going anywhere. So this is the i5R EOS uh, rechargeable tail switch EDC flashlight. Love this form factor. Love this size. And this one's bright ass purple. Look at this. Look at that. Got some instructions. Got some, uh, oops, got some, uh, nothing else. Got a little charging cable. So this one is USB-C. Love to see that. Ultra uber mega fast charging. Excellent stuff. Pull that out, pull that out. Let's actually take the battery out, the battery thingy out first. Little uh, safety so uh, stop pin. There it is. See that little piece of yellow? My mortal enemy. My mortal enemy when I do these unboxings. In we go. Nice O-ring. Keep it watertight. Again, we have the double-sided clip, so you can clip it into your shirt pocket like so, or you can clip it onto a hat or whatever, whatever you want to do. Very interesting. I think this is a new uh, version, a limited edition. It's got like a phoenix low, like image on it, a phoenix engraved or, or pressed into it. Fi some kind of fire-breathing bird, some kind of fire bird, you know? Bright purple. Again, aluminum casing, anodized aluminum. Very good size. Re very reasonable like here is uh mom dad here's a rock wall basically my go-to edc pocket knife size there you go a little bit smaller than the rock wall it's perfect it's perfect baby so there you go uh not sure how this one works so we'll just okay click it once you get nice little moonlight mode going on click it again you it's get it starts to it starts to get violent it starts jesus it starts to get violent a little bit vigorous so that's it. Just two, um, is that it? Just two versions. Oh, uh, boy. Got, let me get the accordion out here. Let's see here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. None of that helps. Uh, that's all in German. Um, so it just has two modes, low and high. Total output is uh 350 lumens on the high mode, and the low mode's 15 lumens, and it will last... 37 hours on low mode. <laughs> That's nuts out of something this size. That's crazy. Very, very cool. Not quite as violent as the Perun 2, if I'm being honest. But, boy, it'll get the job done. I mean, it will get the job done. I got no complaints here. I got no complaints here. Super lightweight. Carries really well. Interesting design on it. Um, Again, it's got like a weird Firebird going on. Where's the recharging port? Where's the charge, charge em up port? What? How do I charge the damn thing? I don't know. Do you just pull the whole battery? Yeah, okay. So the charging port is on the battery itself. So there you go. Nice. You can get uh, replacement batteries if something were to go wrong. So very cool. Very cool. The i5R EOS. or the Is that what it's called? Mom? I5, yes. The i5R EOS rechargeable. Beautiful. Some excellent quality holiday gear uh, from Olight coming in hot. Oh, I was looking for the other one. It's on my fucking head. Hi, I'm an idiot. Uh, so there you go. 
do some holiday shopping. Uh, links to everything in the description. Everything's very reasonably priced at Olight. I like it. I am yet to break anything from them, and I'm really good at breaking things. So, you know. Uh, good stuff. Excellent stuff. Really impressed by the button lock. Really impressed by all the new lights they send me. I'm always just like, you know. I I'm new to the whole flashlight game, but this is such a huge step up from what I've been dealing with in the past. Uh... Great stuff, excellent stuff. Links in description, not the full review on anything. The knife will probably get a review at some point, but uh, pictures of everything on Instagram, so be sure to follow me there. Uh, Kara's Instagram will have a bunch of stuff as well, but uh, that's it for me. So until next time, thank you all oh so very much for watching. Bye-bye now.